everyone welcome back to my channel today is a very exciting day it's a day we've been waiting for for months um, today is the day before Ben comes home from deployment <sighs> it's been a long week and I want to update you guys real quick on where I've been um, and why I haven't posted in a couple days and just kind of what's been going on. Alright, I am so sorry to interrupt this clip already, but I have had so many new faces around here on my channel lately and I would just want to say how much I appreciate you guys and I just love the support. So thank you for subscribing and sticking around. I want to introduce myself just a little bit real quick so you know kind of our backstory and who we are. My name is Shauna. I am married to my husband Ben who is still currently deployed and then we have a daughter who is 10 months old now and her name is Elodie Jane but my husband is active duty US military and we are currently stationed overseas in England. Ben has been deployed for over six months now so he left when Elodie was only three months old. She is now 10 months old and it has been a roller coaster and so I've used my channel to document a little bit of it here and there um, and now is the exciting part because I get to document his homecoming um, and then all of our adventures after that. We have so many exciting things coming up in the next few months. So if you have any questions for me or want to know anything else about our family or what's going on, just drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer that. But in the meantime, back to the vlog. So first off, I want to apologize because I've woken up sick today. It's the first time this season or like throughout the winter that I've gotten sick so of course it has to happen today. It's been a very long week. Basically what has happened is that Ben was told that he would be coming home a week early. We got super excited of course um, and everything was set into motion for him to arrive home last Wednesday and it is now Saturday April 6th for reference. Well on Sunday afternoon, we got word that his flight had been delayed for 48 hours. Um, they were fixing some sort of problem on it, um, which sucked, but um, he was then supposed to be home Friday. I kind of forget the exact timeline now just because it's been so much changing of schedules in the last week, but um, within the next couple of days, we then found out that Ben's flight got delayed for another 24 hours. So then he was expected home Saturday. It just gets a little hazy when I try to remember exactly what has been happening and when he has gotten delayed and whatnot. But basically he has been delayed six times since last Sunday. So in less than a week he has been delayed six times. And it's not the type of thing where it's like, oh, um, we think you're going to leave this day. Like, tickets have been booked six times. Tickets have been canceled six times. It's been six times of Ben calling me and saying, I'm not coming home for another day or another two days. And when you are waiting on that homecoming, that is just heart-wrenching to hear for both sides. Um, and it definitely takes a toll after a little while. So, because Ben was supposed to be home on Wednesday, I was planning on uploading on Monday like I did. Um, I was going to take Wednesday off to spend the day with Ben and preparing for his homecoming and then when, er, yeah, and then Friday was going to be this vlog um, that I would upload, but because his day got pushed back so much and because it kept getting pushed back, it wasn't like, oh, you're now coming home Sunday. It was like, oh, you're coming home the next day. Or the next day so it's just been a crazy week so I apologize for not uploading it's not because I forgot about y'all it's literally just because of Ben's schedule has been so wacky and we have not known what we are doing with ourselves for the past few days that I've, it's just been impossible to do any uploading so Ben is now coming home tomorrow Sunday he was supposed to come home like Sunday around like 5 or 6 p.m. We then got word that he will probably be coming home Sunday in the middle of the night or early Monday morning. Um, I'm kind of planning in my head it will be probably around like Sunday at midnight. That is where we are at. It's a real bummer um, that it's taken all these extra days. I know it probably doesn't seem like a lot to y'all. Like what's another 24 hours when you've already done over six months apart? Which I completely understand and I say the same thing. But when you're waiting on that homecoming, those 24 hours mean the world. So it has definitely been an emotional roller coaster the past few days. But 
Ben is now sitting in Germany and I actually he I believe took a couple clips on his phone um, just I don't even know what exactly but if you see like a few clips thrown in throughout this vlog that will be from him because he will be vlogging just a little bit on his way home I'll go ahead and throw some clips in right now all right so I get to come home in the next couple days this is my last day here um, they moved us into these shipping containers about a week ago um, so that they could make room for us leaving earlier even though we didn't leave earlier um, typical military style they pushed our date back a couple times so be it. It is what it is. Um, at this point, I'm ready to just get home, see my beautiful wife and amazingly cute daughter. Um, I don't really want to do the travel because I hate traveling, but I'm super excited to go see them and get home. Hey, everybody. Uh, just want to say I've made it to Germany. Um, needless to say, the travel wasn't easy. Military travel is never easy. I'm pretty exhausted. I'm not actually going back tomorrow. I got a, a day of downtime in Germany. So I'll probably just chill and do something around the base. Not really going to do too much. But then uh, the next day I'll be heading home from here to England. I can't wait to get home, but I'm very tired now. I'm exhausted. But something I do have to share with you guys is I have four pillows and super comfy sheets. Even though you guys probably don't think so. But I think it's super comfy just because I've been sleeping in what seems to just be the slums for me, kind of, sort of. But it's like sleeping with everybody. So blankets are hella nice being in a hotel. And I'm just going to relax and enjoy some time to sleep. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, so you probably just got to hear from him a little bit. Um, like I said, I don't know exactly what he just said, but ditto to whatever he said. <laughs> So on my end, now it's Saturday, Elodie is currently taking her nap, hopefully she stays napping for a little while longer because I need to get some things done, but uh, my plan today is literally just to prepare all that I have in mind to do for his homecoming. I have already done his homecoming sign, I've already made it, I took a clip of that so I will add that in now. Alright y'all, the time is finally here, I am making Ben's homecoming sign. I'm actually going to do the signs sort of like an Elodie's perspective. Now I'm just starting to measure out what I'm going to put on here. The quote, I guess you could say, that I'm going to be using is, I'm not as tiny as I used to be. Come and kiss your mini me. I just thought that would be really cute because Ben did leave when she was only three months old and now she's ten months old. Okay, so update on how Ben's homecoming sign is doing. It's slow and long. <laughs> so I had to erase everything last night because it was not all fitting and I wasn't willing to sacrifice the outcome, I guess you could say, for my time. So um, I decided to take my time and erase everything and start completely from scratch. So I'm going to show you what I have so far. It's nowhere near done but it's coming along slowly but surely okay so this is what i have done so far just these two lines i'm about to start on the third line um and so i like wrote it out over here and i think will fit perfectly now i just had to reorganize it and that's not something i took into account before so i'm going to keep chugging along and hopefully i'll have a better update to show you guys in just a little while Everything that we've been through has made us strong You won't believe we've had our great But sorry there's a light inside of us It shows the way Not looking for no, no, no Heaven or go, cause I got you I got you, don't wanna show oh, oh. Show us off, but you're my own All that I need Trying to sugar cold, but I'm flying so high I don't even know if I'm coming down You wrap my boat when you hold me so tight This is the sign
sign. I'm not as tiny as I used to be. Come and kiss your mini me. I think that it looks good. And that is a sign which I am super excited about. Um, I think it is just simple and nice and will be perfect. Um, so that we will take when we get him off the bus on base. And then I've also already made his beer cake, which is just like a fun little project I wanted to do. So I will throw that in here. The world just disappears in front of my eyes. I'm telling you why. This ain't no madness. The smoke and the mirrors are memories. Now the sun's come down like a river rushing way up above. This ain't, yeah, this ain't no sugar coated love. Now it is done and I am so happy with this actually. I didn't even realize this. Ben, one of Ben's favorite beers is the Boston Lager. And I just noticed when I was putting this together that it's red and blue. So perfect. I didn't even plan that but it ended up working out perfectly. I love that little bow on the bottom. And then this just really brings it together. All right, so I think that is all the clips that I have <laughs> acquired throughout the last few days. But at this point, I still have a lot of decorating to do because Ben did miss uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving and basically all the holidays uh, this past year. I have been acquiring presents for him to open, so he will have a bunch of presents to open. And then I'm also, which this is going to be a surprise for anyone that knows me, I am making Ben a cake from scratch. Yeah. So I'm planning on going to do that now, starting it, and then I'll probably decorate it tomorrow. So you may not see the finished product in today's vlog, but of course I'll be vlogging tomorrow in the homecoming, so you'll probably see it then. But I need to start that right now while Elodie is still sleeping. This ain't, yeah, this ain't no sugar love. This is the aftermath of all of it, which isn't too bad. And then this is what they look like. I think they look good. I I honestly just don't know until it's all done. So these are about to go in the oven for I think about 20 minutes and we'll see how they come out. So I'm currently at the BX here in Ramstein. Um, I grabbed Elodie a couple things, um, which I got her a little tiny Minnie Mouse. She's gonna love it, I think. Um, I got her, it's this little Fisher Price, kind of like uh, her first purse type thing. It makes noises, there's a couple things that go with it. Um, I think she'll really like it, but it's cute. And then I got something for Shauna, but she's gonna have to wait until I get back to know what that is, because that's a surprise. And I know she's gonna wanna see this video. So she's just gonna have to wait. It's a surprise for her. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye. All right guys, so now that the cake is baking, this is like my corner for bed that I need to organize. My plan is to like basically set up this whole table with presents, the cake, the beer cake, uh, decorations, all that sort of stuff and then I have like streamers and everything and I think I'm going to like hang streamers all along here and then I have the balloons that will be all over the floor so I'm going to go ahead and get that sort of set up you're everything that I could ever want your touch so soft not looking for no 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 heaven or gold cause I got you I got you I got you don't wanna show
I think this is looking really good. I think the streamers really just like make it a wow factor. So I'm going to continue. Probably going to start wrapping some presents for him. And just keep pulling it together. I'm excited. Oh, and then the cake. So it turned out well, I think. It looks a little burnt, but they're not, I promise. Um, it's just how our oven cooks them. So I think once I like slice off the top of one of them to stack and everything, it'll be good. So I think they turned out well so far. I'm telling you why. This ain't no madness. The smoke in the mirrors, our memories now the sun's gone down. Like a river. This little miss. Hey, what are you doing? Elodie. Hi. She is not feeling the best. I think we're both a little bit sick, so she's been very whiny, very sleepy. That's why she's still in PJs. So we're just kind of hanging out at home. Nope. And no. <laughs> hey, you can't have Stubbo's water. That's for Stubbo's. She's also found the dog water and food today. <laughs> I know you're probably sick of seeing me in this room, but I am here to close out this vlog. All right, so this is a final product. I really am glad that I did the streamers. I think it just kind of like dresses it up really well. I love this little sign. I will um, link this down below. I got that from Amazon. It's just really cute. And this is what it all looks like. So that is his... Um, Johnny Walker Scotch Whiskey. I don't know. Guys, I don't drink. So that was like, I don't even know if you'll like that. Who knows? Um, this is his beer cake, which is looking good, but it's leaning a bit. There you go. And then his presents, which I ran out of wrapping paper, as you know. And I found this at the grocery store, but now that I'm going to base tomorrow, I'm just going to get the same exact wrapping paper and wrap um, the last couple things. This is all of... The balloons I'm going to blow up tomorrow um, and then I'm literally just going to scatter them like all over the floor and everywhere. And then this is of course his sign that we'll bring when we go to pick him up. But yeah, I am super happy with how it turned out. I think it'll be just really nice and really fun for him to walk into. That is pretty much all I've done for today. As you can probably tell by my voice, I am most definitely sick, of course, so one time I don't want to be sick. but. Hopefully we will be feeling a little bit better tomorrow. Tomorrow is homecoming day. I'm so, so excited. I honestly, it kind of doesn't feel real that it's here, but it almost is. The only thing that sucks is that his flight doesn't leave Germany until like 7.45 at night. So basically he won't be getting back to base until probably like midnight or 1 a.m. is what I'm guessing. And that's if everything runs smoothly. So you just never know which is going to suck. I'm not sure how Elodie's going to be because obviously I'll be waking her up to go pick him up and do that whole shebang. We're excited um, and of course I'll be vlogging all day tomorrow and I'm going to be vlogging his first day home too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. It was a lot of fun to make. I'm super excited that I was able to document this um, because he has no idea, well, at least I don't think he has any idea that any of this is going on, that I've done anything like this for him. He actually said to me today, aren't you glad you did all your cleaning yesterday so that now that you're sick, you can just relax today? And I was like, if you only knew because I have not stopped. I'm going to close out this vlog for the final time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stick around for the homecoming video. It is the next video to be uploaded. You won't want to miss it. Uh, make sure your notification bell is ticked to get notified when I post it and make sure you're subscribed also. We have a lot of fun vlogs coming up and I'm just going to keep vlogging when he's home. I'm so excited to take you all on this journey with us like always. So thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it and I will see you guys tomorrow for the homecoming vlog. Bye guys.